Happy New Year! It's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. And all right, granted, it's not New Year's Day, but this is my first video thought of 2022. So it's my first chance to wish you a Happy New Year. I didn't do it. Uh, didn't have a video thought for the day on, on Saturday or Sunday. So here we are with Monday. Now, I don't know how you celebrate New Year's Day. Uh, a lot of people do it by football, um, uh, other sporting events, TV, uh, marathon movies, uh, all sorts of different traditions with different people. But as long as I can remember, one of the traditions that was uh, firmly rooted in my mother's household was having black-eyed peas and cornbread. She would make them every year. Heavens, she made them this year. Now, I've never historically been a fan of black-eyed peas. Cornbread, I can eat it all day long. Love cornbread. But black-eyed peas to me taste rather bland. Give me pinto beans. Give me kidney beans. Give me black beans. Give me Boston baked beans, the little candies. Um, lots of options, but not high up there is black-eyed peas. In fact, Black-eyed peas and lima beans are about the two least favorite beans I, I would eat. But having said that, mom would always try and induce us to eat some every New Year's. And she told me when I was young that for every black-eyed pea you would eat on New Year's Day, that would be a dollar that you would make sometime during the year. <clears throat> now to a kid, this is like bonanza time. I mean, it's okay, don't just give me one scoop. Give me two, no three, no four, no five. I'm going to eat these things until, to quote Topol and Fiddler on the Roof, I am a wealthy man. Um, Mom uh, graciously brought by some black-eyed peas and corn muffins this year. Uh, uh, and, and as I was thinking about that tradition... I was also minded of the pomegranate in the Old Testament time period. Uh, my, my friend Dale Manor sent me a, a, and a number of other people an email basically wishing us a happy pomegranate. He didn't say it that way, but he mentioned the fact that in biblical times, the pomegranate was a symbol of prosperity and, and beauty. Uh, uh, it, it's used in the Old Testament in several places, but noticeably, it was actually embroidered onto the garments of the high priest that he would wear to go in to service before God back in the old temple time period and the tabernacle before it. And, and it's because there's prosperity and great wishes and great beauty being in service to God. It's a marvelous thing. Now, you also find pomegranates referenced a couple of times in the Song of Solomon, which is the Old Testament love play, if you will, or a collection of love poems. And, and, and it's used in reference to, uh, in several places, uh, one being the the woman's cheeks are like pomegranate halves behind her veil. In other words, uh, you get below the veil and, and it's, it's a delight. It's a pleasure to the eyes. It's a, an experience of richness. Um, but also you'll, you'll find sharing the juice from the pomegranate tree, the idea of sharing prosperity. Um, I love those pictures because as we roll into New Year, uh, my wish for you is everything that a pomegranate has to offer in the sense of prosperity and, and beauty to unfold for you this year. And I will tell you this, you'll find your pomegranates, I do know this to be true, you will find your pomegranates to be in your service to God. Just like the high priest, just as the pomegranate was used to decorate the temple itself, so for us to be into the presence of God, is to be in the place of beauty and prosperity. Now, I will admit I like pomegranates a lot more than black-eyed peas, but, but I, I'm not suggesting that for every pomegranate seed you eat, you get a dollar. 
I'm not suggesting the prosperity you have before God is one that ka into your bank account. What I am suggesting to you is when you draw close to God in service to him, when you live your life serving the Lord, then the bounty will be amazing, not in dollars and cents, but in blessings of life. And that's the beauty of the pomegranate in its symbolism. So I wish you a happy pomegranate this year, all the success, all of the beauty, and all of the prosperity that comes from serving the Lord. I'll see you again tomorrow, but that's your video thought for the day.